Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we are in the shop and today will be another video on the Corvette. Well, what we'll be doing today is hopefully taking a little bit of weight off the car, if that makes sense. So as you guys know from the past videos, we've done a bunch of work to try to lighten the car, especially the front. You know, we've replaced the entire front end with carbon fiber, the fenders, the hood, that's all carbon fiber. We swapped the front subframe from aluminum to magnesium. You know, so we've grabbed as much ZR1 and Z06 parts that are lighter than stock. That's all been swapped on the car. And today we've got a non-GM piece, but it should be lighter than stock. And let's show you what we got. As you guys can see, we've got a huge box here and uh, we need to get this thing opened up. All right, so you guys can tell we've got a very big box here and it actually came in very good quality. Uh, there's no shipping damage on it. The shipping company reinforced all of the edges and then they put this plastic trim around each one of the corners. Now, I think what we're gonna be doing is opening it from the side and uh, we'll get that new part out to show you what we got. open and show you what we got. Alright, so what is in the package? You guys may or may not know well if you can tell what that is something that my car didn't come stock with let me go ahead and get this fully unwrapped and we'll show you the rest of the piece so as you guys can tell this is a carbon fiber halo piece for the c6 corvette from a company called extreme online store and uh, they actually sell this on amazon so this is a, you know, your basic, your C-pillar behind the driver's side door. This is the halo part that goes between the windshield and the target top roof in my car. Uh, the ZR1s and the Z06s obviously will have a fixed roof. But, um, yeah, so these are on Amazon. This was like 280 some dollars. Um, I ended up getting this for a number of reasons. I wanted to buy this through Amazon just in case I had to return it because Amazon's return policies are usually pretty good. And uh, I wasn't sure, you know, just seeing online vendors selling stuff and this particular vendor, these parts were made overseas. So the manufacturer that made this piece and shipped it and all that, well actually not Extreme Online Store, they're just a distributor. So the actual manufacturer in uh, overseas I believe they sell the same parts for C7 Carbon as well as uh, Anderson Composites. And the reason I know that is because if you guys actually go on Alibaba, you can actually find Corvette parts from Alibaba and find, I think there's one or two manufacturers of it. And uh, the problem with that is unless you're a distributor and you're to sell 100 pieces, the parts are cheaper, you know, the part per unit is cheaper, but you have to order 100 of them to, to get a good deal. You know, or 50, you know, whatever. Obviously, with us only needing to buy one, it doesn't make sense to be shopping on Alibaba. They also have a website. I think it's Alibaba Direct. Their prices are a little bit better, but again, shipping, you know, these prices get super expensive. And then finally, I ended up on Amazon, and uh, that's where we picked this up. So, but overall, looking at the quality, 
I really can't complain. I'm not seeing any major issues with the parts that will be visible from the outside. So the roof, the part going toward the pillar of the door, uh, everything looks pretty good. There are some parts of the weave, carbon fiber weave, that are not 100% perfect, but you know, there really are not any 100% perfect carbon fiber parts unless it's Prepreg or it's a McLaren or, you know, something really expensive. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I really thought this was gonna be junky when I first ordered it. So the reason I actually ordered this part was to help solve a problem. And that problem is when I run the glass top on the car, the black glass next to the blue C pillar, this piece, it just does not look good. I don't know what, I don't know why it doesn't look good. Um, some colors, it doesn't look bad, but this color, I just, it stands out like a sore thumb. I, I don't know what it is. I thought about wrapping the C pillar, you know, paying someone to get that wrap and then, you know, wrapping the blue roof I have on it now, but that was going to be over a hundred dollars. And so for obviously a little bit more money, I kind of got a different solution. So I don't have to pay to get that piece wrapped. I can keep my stock C pillar and uh, we can have a dark top with this and the carbon fiber and the black go together really well. All right, guys, we made a little bit of progress on the Corvette. As you guys can see, we have the windows rolled down. We have the target top off and we've also removed weather seal strip that was here. There's going to be a push pin right here. You'll be able to see that. And then there will be another push pin on the top. So there's three push pins per side. So there's one on the outside door jam. There's one on the, you know, bulkhead right here. And there's one up here. So there's going to be three on the driver's side, three on the passenger side. And when you peel that off, you'll be able to see all the braces and stuff that we're going to have to take off. So there's three screws here. There's going to be like, oh, another five or six screws on top. Then in the back, there will be these T15 torque spits on the side. So one, two, and then there will be several more up on the top. All right, guys, we got the rear panel out. And we did that by putting some tape on the roof panel and uh, opening up the rear hatch. So by doing that, that gave us enough room to get everything up and out of the way. And uh, one more step you guys are going to have to do is actually drop the lower C pillar, you know, this little plastic piece. And the reason you're going to have to do that is because there are four screws that are hidden under here. So there's one, two, three, four. Those are all the uh, Torx 15. So when I first started taking the roof off, I didn't see those. And that was actually preventing the roof from coming up. So now that we've got the whole roof panel off, what I need to do next is actually swap all the metal pieces. You guys can see there's three, there's one, two, there's going to be a third on the passenger side. We're going to have to swap all those pieces off. And those are just held on with some 3M double-sided tape. All right, guys, so I weighed both panels. The carbon fiber piece weighs 3.5 pounds. The fiberglass piece from GM weighs over seven pounds. It was like seven and a half, three and a half. So we are dropping four pounds off the weight of the car. All right, guys, we have gotten all the holes drilled. So up top on the bottom flange that mounts toward the front of the car, the back, that's all drilled out. We have our holes drilled behind our brackets. And uh, then what I did was I took the brackets off. I used my heat gun over there and I used some 3M double-sided tape. And you're going to put some tape between the holes. So we put that bracket on. The top bracket is held in with screws and those little black plastic clips. And there's also 3M tape on the bottom of that too. So there's tape, tape and screws and the bracket. All right, guys, we are several hours later. As you guys can see, the, it's starting to get dark outside. But uh, we finally have the top installed. And uh, I didn't really film much because there wasn't really much to film. But basically, all I did was put the roof on. I screwed all the screws in. Hell, you can see some of the hardware here. So there's some 7mm bolts on top. Torx fits on the bottom. I actually already put the seal on so you can't see any of the bolts here. But those three Phillips head screws on each side. So this side, the passenger side. And I also put the trim back up in place. The initial fitment was pretty good, but I actually had to take, I didn't take it all the way back off. The, the back screws, I needed to widen the holes a little bit. So what I did was just pulled up on it. I didn't, I, I didn't have any hardware in. 
I just pulled up on it, and as you guys can see, my drill bit's right there. And uh, I had enough room to just go ahead and rat, ream out a couple more of those holes in the back. The holes up front really were fine. I didn't really have to adjust those too much, but I did have to do a second round, like I said, of fine tuning some of the holes, uh, especially the ones in the back. And you guys will see, I did put more painting tape on this cover as well, because when you have the hatch up and you're trying to slide the carbon fiber roof piece underneath it, it is very close and it will and can scratch the uh, paint or the finish on your carbon fiber. So really the last thing to take note of is actually the seal that's here, the, the main C pillar seal. That seal is kind of a pain in the butt to work on. It just, you basically just have to like kind of play with it for a while until it goes in. It, it's not an exact fit. I don't even have an exact science on how to tell you how to do it. It's just one of those things. Once you get it lined up in the front, it should line up in the back. What I'm talking about is the two channels right here in the main part of the seal. If you get the front pressed on, you will probably get 90% of the back. The back I did have to lift up on and there's a fold here and then there's a fold into the metal channel. I did actually have to press that in with one of those uh, plastic trim tools because you don't really want anything sharp that can damage that seal. All right guys, so we got the windows up and this is kind of what I was trying to show you was the whole top of the roof is blacked out with the black windows, the carbon roof, the glass roof, and the tin windows. You now it just looks really good. But this is basically 100% what I wanted with the dark roof. And uh, now we kind of got a little bit of carbon fiber, a little bit of glass, a little bit of tint, and uh, we got everything that we wanted. Obviously there's a huge gap here. Like I said, that seal will come in tomorrow. We'll show you how to install that and we'll wrap up the video. All right guys, from the last part of the video, it's actually been two weeks. And why has it been two weeks? Well, I ordered what I thought was the seal and that took a week to get here. Well, that ended up being the wrong part number. We'll not really talk about that. And then the second part, when I finally did order the correct part number, this seal took another week to get here. So the seal for the rear hatch is gonna be part number 15201758. And that is gonna fit in right here between the carbon fiber piece and the window. So we'll get this opened up. It's simply held in with some 3M double-sided tape. And uh, you're basically going to stick it to the top mounting surface here and uh, go, you know, start one end of the car, go all the way to the other. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to open the hatch up, have the hatch open, then we'll be able to install the seal without issue. All right, guys, we got the seal installed. And as you guys can see, it definitely has filled up that gap. If you guys do look at it from the front, you will see a little bit of waviness. That's actually not from the seal itself. That's from the back half of the seal. So it's basically a L-shaped piece. When you put the seal in, there's a channel along the roof panel, along the C-pillar with the adhesive. You stick that into the channel and then this, you know, the piece sticking out, the, the top or the L piece. Well, this part was all kind of twisted up. It wasn't straight. So I actually had to untwist the seal to install it. I'm hoping with uh, some heat and sunshine, you know, we can go let this bake in the sun and that seal will straighten up. So that's actually gonna wrap up this carbon fiber roof install was that seal. And guys, uh, that seal is quite expensive. I believe it was roughly $56 shipped, something like that. So it was uh, fairly expensive and it's kind of a one-time use. You really couldn't take the stock one off your stock roof because it's, you know, it's double-sided tape and trying to put new tape uh, on that old tape. It just, it just would not work well. So. Other than that, this install was pretty simple for the roof. Uh, take your existing roof off, take the four bolts off the top, take the, I believe it was like six or seven bolts off the top here below the seal, and uh, the roof comes right out. You know, there's some gaskets and stuff like that, but once you get all that stuff figured out, you know, the install itself went in very quickly. But at the end of the day, I got what I was looking for. I wanted to kind of two-tone the Corvette with the blue on bottom, the dark on top, whether it's window tint, glass, carbon fiber, whatever. And uh, it's a very unique look, and I am glad that we were able to get that installed. Plus we saved another four, four and a half pounds off the car. And in the end, you know, that's never a bad thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. That way you guys know when I upload new content. 
And if you guys want to help support the channel, check out all the links down below. I should have a link to the roof. We might be able to provide you a link to that seal. And make sure you check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.